to deliver the farewell address for the class of 2012. I am happy to introduce Jude Rousseau. Good morning, brothers of the class of 2012, and friends, family, and faculty. Here we are, all together at the end of things. This is the end of an era for each of us, who have spent more than a fifth of our lives together. Now is the last time that this brotherhood will be congregated together before the last day, when Christ sits on his throne above the nations, passing judgment and giving sentence. It is on this theme that I will dwell a little while, because today is Judgment Day writ small, and indeed, every day for the rest of our lives is Judgment Day. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, to the last syllable of recorded time, cries Shakespeare's Macbeth, lamenting the unending grind of a life of uncertain meaning. We know better. We know that the culmination the, gink, the giving of meaning comes not tomorrow, but today. Today, we leave this assembly to give meaning to our Damatha careers, to show the world what it means to be a Damatha stag. We are called gentlemen and scholars. Now it is up to us to give that phrase meaning. Our time at Damatha has been a preparation for the world outside, and now we will see how well we have been prepared we will see if that preparation was meaningful in the end, or whether it was just a passing phase, a bubble in time where we laughed and wept together for a part of our lives and departed neither increased nor decreased, wiser nor more foolish. It is our time to be judged. How we are judged will be determined by how we act. Thus, we owe it not only to ourselves, but to each other, to conduct ourselves always with honor, if we are judged as a whole, whether it be for better or worse. The deeds of any amongst us reflects on all the others. So let us keep in mind, as we conduct our affairs through life, that it is not only our own reputations that are at stake, but also the reputations of 195 other men, men whom we have numbered amongst our closest friends and dearest brothers, men with whom, as Aristotle said, we have eaten salt. I can say with justification and with gravity that this has been an outstanding class. Let us keep that reputation burnished so that through the long years, those who have associated with us will look back and say of us, yes, the class of 2012 was truly exemplary. I speak of what we owe each other sitting here today, but our burden is far more serious for we owe a debt to the dead. There is a young man who could not be here today, who left us in the flush of youth. I speak of Rico Webb. When we are judged as a class, Rico will be judged with us. Every action of each of us controls how Rico will be remembered, whether as just another high school student and just another graduating class, or as a member of an outstanding company, a brotherhood of excellence. We do not only owe it to ourselves, or to our families, or to our teachers, or to each other to keep our honor bright. We owe it to Rico. Thus I will leave you now. May God bless us in our endeavors, so that when we are assembled again on Judgment Day, we may hold our heads high in the certain knowledge that we have conducted ourselves with honor. Go Stags.